So this is a 1984 Boston Whaler 17 Montauk, a full gel coat restoration and a true classic. This boat's headed to Coastal Carolina. You'll see it in Charleston, Greenville, Lake Kiwi. So keep an eye out. This is a beautiful, beautiful boat that is just awesome. This is the original desert tan color and it is beautiful. It's so rare to find a Montauk that you can actually do a gel coat restoration with because they're usually always kept outside and they're just crazed and cracked beyond belief. This boat was babied, it was kept in freshwater only, and it was a barn frying from the middle of the country, and it really shows. I mean, you'll notice all the original teak on this boat, which is always rare to be able to completely restore it and have zero rot on it. We just did a full restoration of it all and, uh, and color match it all together with some of the new accessories we'll show you here in a minute to make it look like it may have been completely original from the 80s. We had our Yeti cooler upgrade here. This is standard on all the boats. Just a perfect fit for a seat up here. We just love these products, they're the best, and you don't need all that crap on your floor anymore, all those chalks and tie downs and messy stuff. So really simple, minimalist. We got a custom cushion setup going here from Martin Marine Design. These are beautiful. These are things you would want in your house and they're made to last. The stitching in here is beautiful. This is all of our original hardware on the boat. So all the railings are original, all the stanchions are original, all the chrome brass, D-rings and I-rings in the front are original. We did do a new windshield on here. We could have actually kept the original, but there was some very minor little crazes in the corner, so why not upgrade it when you can? The Shepherd's Hook, always a classic look on the Montauk. This is a true ode to everything OEM. We've got our original louvered door here. Just love those little accents. These are very difficult to make. <laughs> So you usually hope that they're in great shape. Sea Duck in this boat is a custom color combination from Castaway Customs. I love this combination for the gel coat restorations. Um, it's just, just a really cool look. It's just really muted and subtle and really matches perfectly with the actual gel coat tone. New RPS seat cushion from Martin Marine Design. We've got our original RPS seat back with the original chrome brass handles. Also here we have our teak side rails. Um, we upgrade these because originally they're usually split down the middle and they're kind of beat up. So we actually widen them a bit and make them so that they're just a little more sturdy and last a little bit longer. We do a little upgrade here. We put some stainless rod holders in there. Uh, Robert wanted us to go ahead and put together a cool little fishing package for him that he could use in the coastal Carolinas, he could use it for bass fishing. Um, something to talk about are these gold spoons that are on here. This is a traditional gold spoon, but this company called Aqua Dream makes these beautiful handmade custom spoons and they're just an awesome take on a classic, modernizing it a little bit. We also made him a really cool little miniature setup of all of my go-to favorites for inshore fishing that are great for the 3000 series reels that we set up for him. And this really nice format tackle package that actually fits in the console, which is really tough on the Montauks because the consoles are pretty small uh, getting through the doors. Once you get it in there, there's a lot of space, but the doors are pretty tight. This fits perfectly in there. That's all his go-tos. It's not overwhelming. You can also put it back here. Cool thing about this tackle bag is it has a hard bottom. So if you get any water inside the boat or whatever, it's going to stay dry and not absorb into the soft sides of it. Also noticing this bench back here, this is a upgrade we decided to do for him. He wanted to be able to have his whole family on the boat. So he wanted to be able to sit two or three people back here, maybe one or two at the helm and a couple on the front. And this bench is completely removable. So it actually comes right out of the boat with four clips on the bottom of it. Um, but it also is designed to be in here full time. It's not going anywhere. Uh, we got our nice removable cushion here. And you'll notice the teak, this is obviously new teak because we made this for him, but it matches the old teak. So that's really important to kind of color match all the woods and the up upgrades of the new and the old to make them all flow together. Uh, I love this setup for him. I think he's gonna really dig it. One thing it also does, which is pretty neat, is the disguise for our Tucci shade blade down here. This is actually a umbrella that fits on top of the console. It's designed for center console boats by Tucci and it clips right on the center console and then it comes out to the side with some clips and holds it just like a bimini top wood, but it's removable and you can store it away so it's not in your way like most rickety bimini tops are. Especially on the Montauk, they're really just ugly. Back to the business end here, we've got our Yamaha SHO 90. This thing is a rocket. Uh, almost 50 miles an hour out of this combination with this particular prop on it and it is a screaming fast motor. Completely different feel than the regular Yamaha F90. That's a great motor option as well. This is just sportier. It's got more torque in the bottom, a little bit higher end. Uh, it's, just, it's just fast and it sounds a little bit different too. Swim platform in the back here from Martin Marine Design. 
This is becoming standard on pretty much every boat because it's such an amazing add-on and it's just beautiful. It's gorgeous, it's really functional. This ladder telescopes down and then flips right up. It's heavy, it's not going anywhere. It's all through bolted through the transom so you can be on this thing and have no issues. It's not, it's not going anywhere. Moving around, we got some rod holders for Robert. We decided to do something back here that was kind of subtle that was also removable. So he can take this off the boat if he doesn't want them. But they're back here kind of tucked away out of the way. You can move those reels back here if you wanted to or just add two more. Um, we do have a new nav light here with the LED upgrade, but the original stanchions. Looking up on the console, kind of some of the, the navigational items. Uh, we brought in some new teak to make it look like it could have been original and it's just really classy looking. Super minimalist with the one nav pull switch there. Got our Yamaha on off switch and a little USB upgrade for Robert so he can charge his phone or whatever device he wanted to. This is a four amp um, charger so he can actually charge some stuff pretty quickly in there. Build switch, we decided to do an upgrade on the GPS. This is the Garmin 942XS. Uh, it is a large format version of the 7 series, it just gives you more screen real estate. It's a great fit for the Montauk actually. And uh, you have all your navigation stuff up there. So, you know, you've, you've got your, your engine data, your fuel burn, your RPMs, your trim angle. So we don't have any actual gauging on the boat except for what's all on that screen. It's a beautiful piece of stainless hardware. This is actually the mount for the shade blade. I'll show you some videos of that here in a second so you can kind of see what it looks like on the boat. But that's the puck that it leaves behind. So when the umbrella goes down on it, then straps to the sides of the boat, it's a really stable center post, but it's really easy to get it on and off. Next to that is our uh, upgraded cup holders here. We put a nice teak plate under there just to kind of give it a really pretty look and also protect the gel coat. So when you got stuff bouncing around, you know, metal cups or um, you know, bottles, they're not scratching up the gel coat. Upgraded uh, uh, fire extinguisher here. This is a really cool uh, metal powder coated version that looks like this kind of brushed aluminum, uh, not your typical bright red or white um, fire extinguisher. Kind of flows with the vibe, I like it. Trailer under this boat is actually an Eagle trailer. This was a, an upgrade that the prior owner did. And uh, you know, we usually put new trailers under all of these, but this particular trailer is really impressive. Um, it, it was in great shape, it was hardly ever used. And we just upgraded the, the tires on it so they're nice and new for them. But I mean, you really don't get a trailer built like this anymore. This is solid galvanized with torsion axles. Uh, it is a beast of a trailer. And um, we decided to keep it because honestly, I really like it. It was custom built for this boat. The bunks were custom sized for it. It's fully welded. There's no adjustable hardware on it. So that's our 17 Montauk video. Thank you guys for following along on this build and thank you Robert for building this boat. I'm so excited to deliver it to you today in person here on Lake Kiwi in this beautiful fall blue sky day. I can't wait to see pictures of your family on this boat. I know it's gonna make some great memories for you guys. So thanks again and cheers.